Well, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Matthew. This is um, just a review. I just got in a from Newegg. There was a shell shocker deal for a Netgear Ready NAS for their small business market. Um, this particular practice that I'm at is for um, well, there's some storage needs. Basically, what it boils down to is there's some simple stuff like file servers and uh, backup uh, storage uh, space that I need. And basically, I want to offload that information. Um, well, really, I need to offload it to me, or to not to me, but to to this new ReadyNAS system. So that way, it frees up um, some space. So this is going to be the unboxing and how everything works. So if you're interested, you should check it out. Remember, this is small business, although the data here, what I'm going to do is just, just temporarily, because I need to buy like a, an actual SAN-based solution for the actual servers, for the virtualized machines that we have here, um, just because uh, we're starting to run out of space is what the, what the point boils down to, and um, I need some type of solution for that, and centralized uh, network solutions is the solution. So. Now, I don't know if this comes with the hard drives, obviously, but what I do know is it is actually the NAS system, so let me, um, you know what, I don't know how I'm going to hold this, because I don't, for some reason, I keep just, I don't know when they came in. I just ordered this yesterday, by the way, everybody. This is incredible. Ordered it yesterday, came in today. This was with the free shipping, so pretty cool. I'm going to pause this, pull it out of the box, and then you can see what's going on. Okay, so this is just resuming of... Where was that? I don't see any hard drives, so unfortunately I don't think this will be a very short-lived um, video. Okay, I'm pausing this. So, to kind of give you guys an idea of how small it is, it's about... Right? A grip's length, and I have small hands, apparently. So... You know, it, it's not huge. Uh, it's more like an aluminum-based metal. So at least it'll stay cool in the server room if that's where you're going to have it at. So that's kind of nice. Keeps the hard drives nice and cool. Um, there's a fan to vent out the heat. We have an RJ45 port. We have a lock. We have two high-speed 3.0 USB drives. And an eSATA drive. Uh, um, port, and then your auxiliary, or not auxiliary port, but your AC port here, and um, I don't know if there's some simple way of doing this, but uh, we'll just take off the plastic, fingerprint magnet, we have the power button right here, you have your drives, which are going to be lighting up when you actually plug them in, and apparently a little backup button, that's kind of cool. And a front regular 2.0 USB drive. Though this is magnetic, by the way. This, you can see the magnets right here and here, and they magnetize just to the metal of the case. This is where the two hard drives would go if I had them. And you just push down, and they flip up to hot swappable drives, and your hard drives will live in there. Inside, we just have the regular. Uh, SATA, SATA ports right there, and the power support or power supply port for the SATA drive right there. So it's not very, very big. So obviously you're only going to get um, um, RAID zero, RAID one uh, support, which to me is fine enough. It's good enough for what we're going to use it for, which is um, holding the web server um, information, app data. Uh, file servers and as well as uh, s some backup uh, storage space. So this will be the end of the video. Kept it under five minutes. I'll keep you posted and see what the benchmarks I can get as far as speed. I'm sure it's just going to be 10 by 100 or if this is a gig um, port. I'll find out. So anyways, thank you for viewing and um, check in later.